Kevin. Hello, teacher Lucas. How are you today? Good evening. I am doing well. Good morning. For me, it is good morning. <laughs> yes, for you, it is morning. Did yes. you just wake up? I just had my breakfast. Okay, that's good at least. And uh, are you a coffee person? No, I don't really drink a lot of coffee. I like to drink water. Oh, fair and enough. Milk. <laughs> fair enough. <laughs> Do you have any problems like that with a cat where they take all your money or a girlfriend? Yes, I actually have a cat and they <laughs> like to eat like expensive food, so we have Yeah, to you understand what spend, I mean, right? Yeah, we have to spend a lot of money on the cat just by buying some food. Yeah, and even if you buy them toys, they like the box more than the toy. Yeah, that's actually true because <laughs> I have bought some toys and when they find a box, they are going to start playing with the box instead of the toys. Exactly. I don't know what it is. They really love boxes, but uh, it is good to have a cat, though. I think they deserve it because they're so cute. Yeah, they are so cute, and I think they are very kind and friendly because mm. when I didn't have a cat, it was different. Now that I have a cat, I feel like they give so much love in the Absolutely. way. Absolutely. Yeah, yes. it's like a little light bulb around the house where you always can find some warmth. Yeah, that's true in the purring when you have to hold the cat. Exactly, yes. I think it's very nice too. And have you ever thought of getting more than one or a dog or any other pet? Honestly, I have thought about it, but as I mentioned before, we have to spend a lot of money on the cat, so it could yeah. be more expensive to have another cat but if Absolutely. i have the chance i would like to have another cat i totally understand well sometimes you do get two cats that then take care of each each other so it takes less time for you <laughs> yes yeah, that's right i'm going to get another cat for my mm. cat <laughs> like a friend for my cat I understand, yes. Well, it's very nice talking to you again. Uh, have you been learning more English this week? Yes, I have been learning. I have been read about uh, some educational uh, topics because I'm starting to be an, in an educator. So mm -hmm. I have to read about it. And yes, I have I read a lot of things and I think that it has helped me a lot. That's great. So you're still interested in learning more about it? Yes, totally agree. Mm -hmm. I'm still interested about learning a lot of things because when it comes to speaking, we have to remember like a lot of vocabulary and so we can have like a wider vocabulary to mention or speak with different words. Sure, that makes total sense. It makes it also have you have more confidence, of course, like I said. Yeah, that's right. And do you ever have the problem of forgetting your words? Yes, I had a lot of problems uh, probably in the past because I used to feel or I used to think like if we speak fast, people will understand or we would sound like a native speaker. But now that I'm that I'm here in the channel, I understand that it is better to speak slow or slowly, but it is better to understand and try to express the best way as possible uh -huh. without like running or speaking fast. So it is better. Yeah, I think you have to find your own preference. I like it slow and steady, but there are also teachers who would like to for you to speak fast because they think that is more natural and native. But it's uh, your choice, of course. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I at least appreciate it. And uh, thank you so much for listening, too. I'm glad you are learning something new. <laughs> I'm really grateful for the channel and for you because you have taught us a lot of things and mm. I think that we all appreciate it. Awesome. It's my pleasure, of course. And from everything that you've learned maybe in the past week, 
is there something you would share with other English learners that you're like, oh, that really helped me? Well, I was reading um, a passage that I got from ChatGPT. I think we already know about it. And it was the, about that if we don't practice speaking or any other skill when it comes to learning English, we are not going to get like good at it because we are going to be stopping ourselves. So it is better that we take action mm -hmm. about what we have to do. So we have to overcome those difficult situations or fears that we have. Even if we make mistakes, uh, we are always going to be making mistakes, but we have to face them so we are going to overcome them because if we don't make any mistake we are not going to be learning as well you are completely right yes it's the action right the action that improves everything thank you so much for sharing that we really do appreciate it <laughs> yeah thank you so much teacher lucas and uh, i hope you keep enjoying learning and improving <laughs> Yes, of course. Hey, see you around. See you later, teacher Luca. Thank you so much for this opportunity and nice to see you. My pleasure. Take care.